yes 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 Kenya Tamu sana tamu sana yes tamu sana tamu sana yes tamu sana You will agree with me ladies and gentlemen that if there is something that has hit William Ruto so badly this year then is this old drama of Harun Ayadin and also if you look the kind of reaction by Kenyans across different social media platforms a majority of Kenyans are supporting the government on the way it's handling this Arun Ayadin drama or story and then on the other side we have William Ruto and his team also fighting <laughs> to maybe save Arun Ayadin so it seems to appear ladies and gentlemen that it's Kenyans on one side William Ruto and his Tanga Tanga side on the other side and I strongly believe that's a costly mistake William Ruto is making maybe knowingly or unknowingly so in this video right now or rather today I want us to analyze five reasons as to why William Ruto's close links with Arun Ayadin might cost him presidency next year and maybe William Ruto will need a miracle to come out of, of this drama a strong man so the first reason is this ladies and gentlemen this man Arun Ayadin is strongly believed to be somebody linked to terrorism there is no doubt about that this man Arun Ayadin is the same person who was arrested in Germany over links to terrorism that one has now come out very very clearly and Tanga Tanga group they have not come out to deny that so that alone ladies and gentlemen beats William Ruto's integrity very badly because as much as Kenyans don't care about integrity when there is some glaring evidence some open evidence like this one then I know Kenyans might now think twice this one beats William Ruto's integrity so badly and it's just this incident alone ladies and gentlemen has just made William Ruto lose some very very good chunk of votes among Kenyans who care what integrity is all about so in this one William Ruto I know has lost some votes among Kenyans those Kenyans who really care what integrity is all about and then secondly ladies and gentlemen this link between William Ruto and this man Arun Ayadin also beats William Ruto's bottom-up kind of economics and his hustler narrative because since this thing came up William Ruto has made so many blunders in fact for, for some of us who study these things keenly since this thing started ladies and gentlemen I know William Ruto's graph if it was up here it has come down he has lost some votes because of this because in a, an interview with the Kenyans now know William Ruto admitted that he made a phone call and procured a foreigner 15 billion Kenya shillings to establish or rather to set up a factory in Uganda and this foreigner maybe some other Kenyans believe that is this Arun Ayadin maybe or if maybe it's not Arun Ayadin then it's maybe even a Uganda so how comes William Ruto could not make a phone call for somebody or even a hustler to start a company in Kenya that could have just employed millions of jobless Kenyans the hustlers the ones he wants to empower his bottom up that one again ladies and gentlemen beats his hustler narrative and that beats or rather defeats his logic of empowering the hustlers bottom up kind of economics that is most likely to cost him the presidency next year and then thirdly this whole incident or rather this whole drama shows that William Ruto is not as strong as he has made Kenyans to believe I challenge anybody listening to me right now check across the various social media platforms a majority of Kenyans as of now support the government 
the way the government is handling this thing. Look at even William Ruto's top bloggers, Dennis Itumbi. Check at Dennis the kind of comments Kenyans are commenting when Dennis Itumbi posts something related to this Arun Ayadin story. You will find that a majority, if not 90%, of comments are against Dennis Itumbi's position on this. And they are supporting the government side. That also shows, ladies and gentlemen, that on this thing, William Ruto is really playing on a very unpopular platform. He's actually, the more he tries to defend this man, he's actually injuring mm, and shooting himself on the foot. William Ruto has to be very, very careful on this topic. Let him very, very fast stop commenting about these things. It's really costing him among Kenyans. And then fourthly, ladies and gentlemen, this also shows the power of the deep state. And I'm one person who has been very, very consistent in this YouTube channel, or rather in this forum, that for you to win a presidential election in Kenya, you need more than just votes from Kenyans. You also need the system to make sure that it polishes things for you to occupy state house. As things stand, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a small incident of the deep state or the system blocking William Ruto. And you can see the country is peaceful. And there is no kind of resentment for William Ruto being blocked. It also just shows, ladies and gentlemen, that the deep state is so powerful and very, very calculated. In fact, on this one, they caught William Ruto unaware. <laughs> they caught him unaware. And William Ruto, ladies and gentlemen, this one also proves that William Ruto is only thriving when things are good. When the country is calm, you know, they really thrive with the kind of maybe, let me put it propaganda, this poor among Kenyans. But when now things become hard, William Ruto supporters disappear. In this case, ladies and gentlemen, I strongly believe that if William Ruto was as strong or as powerful that he could beat the deep state, then he could have tied, turned the tide against the deep state. And maybe Kenyans could have sympathized with him than to sympathize with the deep state. It's very, very rare, ladies and gentlemen, to find that Kenyans are sympathizing with the deep state as opposed to sympathizing with William Ruto. Mm -hmm. On this, ladies and gentlemen, the deep, deep state comes out as being strong. And this is just a small incident. What if now the deep state were now to unleash the full authority to deal with William Ruto. Can he really survive? If a small thing like this one, William Ruto could, cannot even survive. What if the deep state unleashed their full force on this man, William Ruto? Will he survive? That's the question. And then finally, ladies and gentlemen, this whole incident just shows Tanga Tanga are just noisemakers. They lack proper intelligence sources and information. I just fail to understand how William Ruto, as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, failed to know that he was going to be blocked from flying to Uganda. In fact, if he had known that, then from where I sit, the best thing he could have done was to cancel that flight. But from the look of things, he was not aware that the flight was to be cancelled. So out of ignorance and also maybe through naivety, he just went to the airport not knowing that his goose had been cooked. So that also just exposes this tanga tanga as noisemakers. They just make noise on social media. The likes of the thing they call Dennis Itumbi kind of intelligence. But in the real sense, they lack proper intelligence <laughs> on serious issues. Like this one, William Ruto ought to have known that the government wanted to block him from flying to Uganda. He could have avoided that and he could not have given the deep state the kind of mileage they have given the deep state. Because now, Kenyans are seeing that William Ruto supports, is supporting Uganda hustlers and in Kenya is giving Kenyans weaver. 
And then also it's, it has really exposed William Ruto as somebody who is closely linked to people of some queer characters, people who are alleged to be supporting terrorist activities. That's a big blow for William Ruto. And I know, ladies and gentlemen, it will take a miracle for William Ruto to recover from that. And without any fear of contradiction or any iota of any doubt, I can state here authoritatively that William Ruto needs a miracle <laughs> to come out or rather to redeem his image from all this Arun Ayadin story. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, if you've just bumped on this YouTube for the very first time, kindly subscribe and also give this video a like. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana. Tamu sana. Yes, tamu sana.